Hi guys and welcome back to Crypto News. I'm your host Crypto Chester and today I'm here to give you an update on the one and only XRP. A bit of ripple baby. We're going to be looking at XRP from a technical analysis standpoint, looking at sort of price predictions, buying areas and potentially a trade that is coming up over the next five to ten hours or so that we can probably take quite a lot of advantage from okay so let's just start off with a review of xrp on cmc and then we're going to be going over to the chart okay so you can see here that um the xrp is actually down 12 percent today and we will look at the chart because it's a very very reactive uh, dump to the downside that we have seen most recently in comparison to other assets it's not that great okay but um you can see still with a market cap 29.8 billion dollars absolutely crazy stuff there and at volume it's still number six in in the world in terms of a uh, volume and that is because a lot of international banks use xrp for international transfers okay um so yeah super interesting statistics there and if you haven't done any research into xrp make sure you do so because this is one you definitely want in your portfolio okay so let's jump straight into the chart before we do that if you could just drop a little like on the video that'd be amazing and uh, i just wanted to talk to you guys about a little project here that's, that i've basically found it's basically called flockers it's like a meme coin but it's basically got a vote to earn economy which i think has got huge potential because they're essentially um setting up their own dow so it's basically a, a flockers dow and uh basically the user will get paid in flock to vote um, on the DAO, which is obviously a decentralized application here, where you decide where the project's going to go, okay? And uh, you get paid to paid to be involved with the project, essentially. So it's a pretty cool concept, pretty cool economy. And um, you can see the, the effort that has been put into this project and the DAO just in general, guys. So yeah, definitely want to check out. I'm going to leave the link in the description for you. There's a lot more meat on the bone there that I'm letting on to. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know. And they have currently raised $366,000 here in their pre-sale. And um, if you want to get involved, you can. Ethereum, USDT, Card, or even BNB. That's enough about that. Links are in the description if you, you guys want to go check it out. But let's jump to the XRP chart to um to get this video popping, okay? So there's a couple of things we're going to be covering, guys. We're going to be covering general TA. We're going to be covering um, buying zones, DCAing zones for XRP. And then we're going to be covering the next trade that I'm looking out for, okay? So let's... um. Let's just look at this from a uh, quite a broad technical analysis perspective to start us off. Jumping over to the weekly here, you can see the XRP has been a bit, it's a bit choppy, okay, over the last sort of a decade or so. You can see that uh, the all-time high that we do have on this chart is currently up at around $3.57, okay. So that's the all-time high for XRP. And um, on the lower side of that, guys, you can see $1.98 is the... Um, is the high from November of I'm not sorry not November April 2021 from that previous bull market and the high from March that we have seen um most recently wasn't actually in March it was in oh no that was July we had a nice big pump in July and then we did, did see a dump but the high in March that we have seen for this current bull market is actually um down here guys which was quite interesting in comparison to other charts and um, it does actually look uh, like there is quite a lot of resistance along this area especially this is these are weekly candles guys okay so we just need to be prepared for that and um be basically quite um vigilant about uh, the price of xrp and what um direction that we could be looking out for here okay so um another thing that we're going to be covering is the buying zones the dcaing zones here for xrp and that will essentially be um sort of the shorter market structure areas guys okay so so the micro term market structure uh higher lows and lower lows okay so you can see we do have our lowest low coming through here around 38 cents that was obviously set back in uh in july and from there we have got lovely cheeky little little bit of a higher low here just set recently when we broke this high okay so this is the most recent uh high low that we have seen at around 43 cents but you can see just genuinely from this area there is quite a lot of support okay um in terms of the current live price and i'm talking about around 50 cents guys if we just put a giant um horizontal line across the board there you can see general support here is really quite strong and has been a uh, quite dominant um for a few years or so along this area guys so we definitely um can't be overlooking this area for a trade okay and that does bring me on to a very very important trade that we're looking out for today now obviously we have seen 
this price dump like crazy over the last sort of uh, four days here. We're just about to touch pinnacle, pinnacle volume weighted ATR ban levels here on the four hour. If we look at this four hour, this little lovely green line here, let's get rid of it. Actually, this lovely little green line here, you can see how reactive this uh, the price action is off this area. So support, 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 support. It's just, it's very, very, sometimes it does come down and test the other volume weighted ATR bands, but most of the time it's uh, it's really, really, really nice for just a quick three, four, five percent move uh, for most assets, okay? So um, why has that caught my attention today, okay? It's caught my attention because if you look at the horizontal setup that we just spoke about and how reactive this area actually is um, in previous price action, you can see that sort of collides quite well with the four hour volume weighted ATR band. Now, if we can get a lovely, lovely buy order in this area, I think it's got the potential to be um, a really, really clean position, potentially back up to um, stronger areas like so, right? The average um, high that we do get, as you can see here, is something along the lines of this when we do see that bounce back up. So we could be looking for roughly around from entry point to, um, to final TP, could be roughly around a, an 8.72% here on our position, okay? And the stop loss can be uh, quite, nice in the, quite nice and tight as well because we know that um, it is very, very reactive from this zone. Maybe we um, put it down a little bit more than that um, to maybe some of these lows or something along the lines of that, right? But um, overall, it's uh, when, when we're coming down um, like like so, it's it's quite unlikely for um for us to be tapping that area, especially with um market conditions looking slightly more bullish here. Okay, so there is quite a nice position there for XRP. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And uh, to finish off this uh, video, guys, if you could just drop a little like on it, that'd be amazing if you haven't done already. Um, but I did just want to go into more of a macro position here. The macro long that I'm looking out for here is basically. 24%. Uh, We're looking for a breakout of the 0.382 Fibonacci retracement, as well as this um, this 2023 high trend line that we've got coming down. If we can break out from that, then there is actually a really, really big measure move, like so, from this lovely giant falling wedge. Falling wedges tend to usually break to the upside, and if that is going to happen, guys, we will see um, we will see XRP absolutely explode. Um, we will see it basically just skyrocket um, worth around 60%, not to all time highs just yet, up to around a dollar or something along the lines of that, right? So yeah, a lot of, a uh, lot more liquidity in the market uh, for XRP to be added, okay? But yeah, that's gonna be it from me, guys. Thank you ever so much for watching. If you did wanna go check out that project called uh, Flockers, you can, pre-sale um, is, is currently early alpha entry. If you guys wanna go check it out, you can. Links are in the description. Again, Ethereum, USDT card. That's gonna be it from me. Thank you ever so much for watching. Peace out, and I'll see you in the next one.